Welcome to another video from the farm. This is a part two video showing you how well the DIY nest boxes actually work. So here's variation 4.0 of our chicken houses. Now I feel we're pretty much gonna go for this design from here on inwards because yeah, works great. Plenty of space in there, it's nice and airy, and we're able to keep all the nest boxes and all the other jazz sort of around the edge. So if we do want to get in there with a the tractor to clean bits out, which we will have to do in the next month or so, get a bit of a clean out before winter, makes it nice and easy. I'll just give you a quick show of the nest box. So we're inside the house before I'm letting them out. As you can hear, they're all getting very loud as they're all laying eggs and excited to get outside at the minute. Now I'll just show you quickly how well these are working. As you can see, all the way along, we've got chickens going in and coming out and one's waiting now I've got a lid up on one of these and as you can see lots of eggs inside and about 95% clean eggs too we've got a few that are a little bit dirty but most of them can just be brushed off and the ones that can't be we eat ourselves another part of being able to get so many clean eggs out of these nest boxes is to make sure you've got a dry floor inside your shed as you can see here we have a good layer of wood chip as you can see going down like half a foot there before you get actual sort of composting going on and then yeah this is a whole compost bed under here basically so we keep throwing fresh wood chip on every week the girls churn it all up mix it all in compost down with their own manure because chicken manure is so high in nitrates you need a lot of carbon a lot of carbon to soak all that up which yeah this wood chip perfect for that as you can see, look at look at them all getting inquisitive, me stirring stuff up. So yeah, once you've got those nest boxes in, you've got this sort of dry floor, the maintenance is relatively low. Every couple of weeks or so, we'll have to come along and we'll uh, be brushing the wire on the bottom of this. But that's about it. As you can see, a little bit of muck builds up on the top edges. But until it gets pretty high, we don't take to scrape that off because it stays dry. And I feel it kind of helps clean the feet of the girls before they go in the nest box too. Now the last part, a pretty essential part to keeping your chicken house clean and getting clean eggs, it's basically having something like this outside the doors. Obviously ours are movable because we move along the doors there when we're rotating the field behind us. But these are really simple to make. It's literally just a frame and you put some decent gauge wire on it for about two or three meters before the pen. So as you can see here, muddy underneath from them scraping the mud on the, the top. But tops are pretty clean. And therefore, their feet are pretty clean. Didn't actually show putting on this red bits of tarp in the, uh, the build video. But here we go, you can see. They sort of aim for the middle. They tuck behind it on both sides. They love life in there. Nice and sharp for them. They feel nice and comfortable whilst laying. Works out nice. You don't need to go for anything fancy. We've also taken out the AstroTurf nest boxing material that we had in here. And we found it got a bit too dirty, a bit too fast. It was adding to a lot more maintenance on these, basically. And uh, also we found out of our egg inspector lady that basically you're allowed wire as long as it's plastic coated. So I imagine it'll be the same in most countries. Just make sure you don't use actual plain wire. Make sure you get this PVC covered stuff. So here we go. First collection of the day. A lot of nice clean eggs in baskets. Now the ones that come out with a little bit of muck, like you can see that one there, usually it just brushes straight off. But if it doesn't, it's fine. Stu goes through about 60 a week anyway. So then that's it for this little update. If you haven't seen the actual build video, Please click on the link at the end of this video and it'll take you straight to it and that'll show you exactly how one of these are made. Right then, till next time, bye bye.